Hey y'all, this is Natalie. I just wanted to do a brief introduction about myself before we got into the project because I am not as tax savvy as I thought I was. And I thought I could be spring romantic, but um, I'm just going to do this brief intro and then I'm gonna pin to you the PowerPoint and y'all can look at it so you can see the little pictures, see a little razzle dazzle that I did, you know, a little something. So yeah, my name is Natalie Massey. I had the wonderful experience of working with Priority Veteran United Way. Priority Veteran work coincides with United Way. So it is under one umbrella, but it is Priority Veteran is a program underneath it, as well as 211 and which is the the call center of those in need. And then there's a crisis center as well in the building. But for my internship, I worked with Party Veteran, which is a program that was created to help homeless veterans and their families who are in need, whether they are literally homeless, which is category one, and then they are facing homelessness by living couch to couch, sorry, couch surfing, living or needing um, assistance, living with, living in hotels or motels, or living in cars or shelters. Now, when it comes to making a plan with a veteran, they will have the choice of telling us what they need, telling us about their strengths and weaknesses and things that they wanna work on. So our top priority is meeting basic needs and which is finding housing for a veteran. May it be that they need housing tonight or they need housing tomorrow, in the near future, three months from now, three weeks from now. It just is a case by case thing. So majority of the needs that they have, um, they'll create a plan um, of of creating a housing plan of where they wanna be within the next couple of days to three weeks. And then we have something called recertification, which is every 90 days, but we try to prompt the 80 days so we can move everything accordingly and we can be up to date with information and documents that follow the, the program and then follow the case file of the client. Sorry. Photos of me in the office with the elevator. Now, who do you know that got an elevator in the internship? I mean, it's a job, but nonetheless, it's still cool. That's me with my badge. That's me with my name on those case notes. It says Natalie Massey slash intern, well, um, comma intern. Um, I had to write that on every document that I signed to prove that I was doing the work and that it went through me. And then I have my United Way logo. Priority Veteran doesn't have a logo that I could find, so I didn't do anything about it. And then we have the military because that is a population that we serve. Okay, so for introduction, I had the opportunity to work at Priority Veteran, which is a part of United Way. It is ran by the director, Miss Lula Skalnik. She has been there for seven years and she had the opportunity to see the program blossom and grow. And she is she speaks so highly of it and she is very intelligent of everything that she knows and she has a great powerhouse of a team behind her love that i got the opportunity to get to know everyone create somewhat of a bond with them and understand that they are a, all part of a bigger picture so the program started in 2013 the program receives funding from the va and the SSVF, which is Supportive Services for Veterans and Families, for Veteran Families. And the way that the program works by providing case management is the case workers slash social workers, they make referrals to community organizations with resources. Um, they provide the case management and they develop a plan with each veteran to meet their specific needs. Okay, for the two competencies that I believe that I thoroughly have executed, 
through my time of the internship or competency one and competency three. Competency one is uh, to demonstrate ethical and professional behavior. This competency basically says that a social worker has to make ethical decisions by applying the standards of the National Association of Social Workers, Code of Ethics, relevant laws and regulations, models for ethical decision-making, ethical conduct of research, and additional codes of ethics. They should be able to demonstrate professional demeanor and behavior, appearance in oral, written, in electronic communication. Another part of the competency says that a social worker should use technology ethically and appropriately. An example of this would be at the internship, the office uses the computers for daily use. We need three six five Office 365 to complete all documents, where it may be Excel to create a graph of all the do of all the veterans who have closed from the program, Word documents to complete and take with a particular client, and it'll lead to sign documents electronically. I have also included, uh, in short, creating documents to prove to prove financial stability for the client, which goes into intake. Create documents for the client to sign about the program and intake. Um, add case notes after every phone call and meet in meeting. Then uploading to the server that the program uses, which is called Service Point, which is very neat. Um, provide empathy to clients and provide a safe space to clients and their families. The next competency that I feel that I've just demonstrated equally as well is competency three. It is to advance human rights in social, economic, and environmental justice. We had the opportunity of holding a Black History Month seminar, a cultural humility training, language access, and working with entrepreneur, uh, interpreters workshop. We also had the opportunity of having a disability etiquette 101, a 201, and they are going to have a 301 in May and June. So my conclusion is kind of long, but uh, my learning experience cannot be explained in a few words, literally. It was hands-on experience, full support from the very beginning to the end. It involved problem solving, problem, problem solving thinking from all other case managers in the office. Each day was different and not the same. I had a few cases that have left an imprint on me in my life. I learned that I cannot make choices for anyone. The client has to actively make that decision for him or herself. I said, something that I learned about myself is that I need to work on being more assertive when it comes to delivering news. I try to be empathetic, but people will walk all over that and use my kindness as a weakness. Which will not always be a bad thing. It's just, sometimes it's, sometimes you gotta uh, pull yourself up by your bootstraps and realize that that's a job. They're, so that they're not your friend. You're there because they need assistance and that's what you're here for. You're not here to make friends. So I did say that the plan is to pursue a higher academic rank with my future master's degree. It is not always about the money, but they pay you more if you have the educational support behind your name. I would like to be a licensed clinical social worker, and there is not just one set place for that. After my master's, I would like to practice social work with the firm or the VA office for a few years. I believe that I, that I need to practice more of what I'm into and find my direct population, and then I believe that I could take off from there. I also did want to include that it's a it's a whole essay at the bottom of this, but um, I wanted to eventually travel with the military to maybe practice at a school or military installation um, that's looking for a school counselor. I do not have a set plan for the future. I truly am excited to graduate. I would like to open up my own firm that would work for the homeless veteran veteran population in speaky long term. So for acknowledgments, I would like to have a special thanks to Priority Veterans for running 
an exceptional program that aims to help homeless veterans and their families by providing them with assistance. It was a wonderful learning experience and I would do it all over again if possible. Also, shout out to uh, Professor uh, Melton for helping me with this whole semester and being understanding about COVID. And yeah, and that's my not so short presentation. I hope y'all liked it.